but wide receiver two, Jaden Reed. The first question. Yeah, boy. What when Christian Watson does come back? What happens to Jaden Reed? What happens, perhaps, to Romeo Dubs? What happens to this Packers offense as a whole? I think it just gets better and better. They have all these guys at, what under twenty four, under twenty five years old. Right, so look at looking at this. He was last week, week three. He was targeted seven times, three catch, three catches, three first downs. Unfortunately, two drops. So where does Christian Watson line up? Christian Watson, twenty twenty two. Jalen Reed was not there. Mm-hmm. Christian lined up sixty seven percent of the time out wide, only thirty two percent of the time. He was in the slot. Reed, 78, basically 79% of the time, he's in the slot. They already have Reed already in a position that they need him to be before their guy comes. When Reed is there and Watson is there, I would say they you got Watson out wide, Christian right there. I mean, a Christian outside, Reed inside, and you go – Cool little scissors route. Mm. Boom, he goes that way, they go that way. Now they got all of a sudden, but what you're going to have is Watson with speed, Reed with a little wiggle, right? Give him a little shimmy, mm. corner. Now all of a sudden you got two receivers with two different styles. One's a vertical, one's a horizontal, one's a vertical threat, one's a horizontal threat. All of a sudden things get, things get for the defense, gets fuzzy. It gets interesting. It gets difficult because you can't peg a guy. You try, you can lock him down. One guy may get locked down, but then all of a sudden you got to have speed. Then all of a sudden Reed does have that ability. He can run away from you too. Right. You watch the way they're implementing him in this offense without Watson. They're giving him a lot of the creative routes, the routes where he it's a double move. It's a move where he sets him up. He's isolating him. He has to make the defender make a decision now. Linebacker covering them, corner, putting them in motion. All the different things, to me, it's a Watson is Jordy Nelson. Christian, I mean, uh, Reed is Randall Cobb. Where you got, you know, a little shiftiness in the inside. But, you know, Cobb back in the day when he was first out of Kentucky, when he first got to Green Bay, man, they give it to him 10, 12 yards. And he'll, he'll get out in the open field. Mm-hmm. That's what I kind of see this combination as. I think they're developing a four, four wide, or kind of like what Sean Payton used to do when he was in New Orleans, is you have packages of people. When this when this package of guys are in, we're going intermediate. When this package is in, we're going we're going touchdown to intermediate. When this guy's in, it's balls to the wall. It's all go. Right. So I think that's what they're formulating and trying to figure out and see what's the best route combination with the group of guys once they get all of them back together. So when Watson comes back, Reed, you would still start. I think he's a flex. Okay. He was targeted seven times. Right. Yeah. So what's a starter? A starter is not getting targeted seven times. So you're looking for like nine targets somewhere around there? Yes. Okay. Nine to ten targets. Okay. And and even in this pass happy league, that's still that's still not a lot. 